Every morning, every day of our lives, we have choices to make. You have the choice to stay in bed, to say, forget it, I'm not gonna work out today, or forget it, I'm not gonna work hard today. You always have a choice every single day of your life, so. You know, there comes a day, man, everyone's gonna have this day. There comes a day where being average, being mediocre, is just sickening to you. It's just sickening, it makes you wanna throw up. Because you've seen people with far less talent than you. As you're growing up with them, their childhood buddies, whatever else, they didn't have what you had. Yet now they're fucking to become something that you haven't. There comes that day. It's either when you're young, you know, and, and it strikes you on the baseball field because you're sick of striking out. Or it's it's when you get fired from your fifth job, you know, and your wife and kids are on your ass because you don't know how to support them anymore. There comes a fucking day where push comes to shove. Where being mediocre, being like average and shit just fucking burns, it sucks so much. You can't deal with it one more day and you get off your fucking ass and you create something that's always been there. It's always been inside of you trying to come out. But you've never wanted to unwrap it because it's too much fucking pain and commitment. You were scared you were going to fail. You were scared if you started you never finish it. You didn't want to tell anyone about it. You knew it was there, but you never wanted to embark on it until something fucking hits. You get fired or somebody else gets success to remind you of what you could have been. And then that fucking spark is born. And no matter what happens, I'm never going to be in this boat again. And you get up and you go, even if it gets knocked down, you just keep going, keep going, you're a wild man. And life has never been so sweet. That can happen at an early age, it can happen at a later age. It's going to happen to somebody every, you know, no matter what, it's going to happen to you. And when it does happen to you, thank your lucky stars that finally you're alive. It's time to unwrap the potential you can be. Superior, man. It's within you. It's within every single one of us. A lot of times I'll be in a 200 mile run or something like that, and I'm all jacked up. Body's broken, mind's broken, spirit's broken. I started to say, what if I can pull this off? When I first walked into the Navy SEAL recruiter's office, he looked at me and said, there's only been 35 African Americans in 70 years make it through. You know what I said to myself? What if I can be the 36th? It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle. What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? And just that, just me talking about that, I have the hair going up on my arms. Because it makes me just like, what if? Be the guy who embraces the ugly, the miserable. Um, be the guy who embraces hard work, the grind. Don't be afraid of being hurt. Don't be afraid of sacrificing some blood. Who fought in these wars, you have no idea how big of a deal this is to me. I was not always this strong guy, you see. Um, I went through a lot of hard times in my life to get here today. What I've learned is that most of the sabotage in your life is self-induced. Hear me out, okay? Most of the sabotage that is self-induced in life is because you do not have the self-regulation to do that which you know you need to do. So you need to be able to ask yourself, right? You know you need to go to the gym. You know you need to start this business. You know you need to read this book, but you don't do it. Why? Why don't you do it? Not, oh, I didn't do it today. No, no. Why didn't you do it? Why did you cave to the nonsensical bullshit and the perspective that you're above the grind, you're above the work, you're above the consistency? Because these are the things that are holding you back. We understand that consistency compounds. I've said this once and I'll say it again. But why is it that you know what to do but you don't do it? Don't just say, oh, because I'm lazy. That, no, no, that's not good enough. Right? No, it's not that you're lazy. Something else is wrong. You need to be able to identify these things. And once you identify these things, you're able to tackle them effectively. Like what what bothers you about yourself? Uh, I just wish I just felt more comfortable in my own skin a lot of times, you know, because I feel like um, I would be able to be more effective as a person if I could just like, kind of get a, not toil in some of my own 
you know, if small self worth issues or mm. like lack of confidence at times. You know, I wish I could trust my instincts, and I wish my instincts were like better calibrated, so that I knew when I was, what if I was doing like okay and good stuff, then my insides like told me you're you're being okay. You don't have to worry. You know. 